After several months of testing and development, we're ready with the second generation of our training station, PowerBox 2. The first big difference from PowerBox 1 is that it's now designed to be mounted on a vertical wall instead of on the ceiling, which makes the installation much easier. And the second big difference is that it has many new features and functions for a much greater variety of climbing exercises. The main body consists of just three metal elements, plus four plywood panels, which are easily connected with each other with simple M10 bolts and nuts. All the other equipment is added or removed to and from the power box, with the use of regular climbing materials. T-nuts, bolts, ropes, hex keys. The special feature that separates it from all other options of training and fingerboards out there is that it protrudes out of the wall. You're not forced to mount it above your door, but on any given wall, and still make all these exercises that you would make on a regular fingerboard plus many new ones. We have released a separate video with detailed installation instructions for four common types of walls. Concrete, solid bricks, hollow bricks, and wood. Now let's have a look at the main training tools and exercises you can do with PowerBox 2. Pull a bar, mandatory for the training routine of every climber. You can make exercises directly on it or add other tools to it and train on them. The front panel is equipped with six sizes of beech wood, crimps and edges in the basic edition, or four sizes in the butterfly edition, starting from six millimeters and reaching 30 millimeters in width. The basic edition adds to this, two hemispheres, 12 centimeters in diameter, and one and two finger pockets. The Butterfly Edition has our popular butterfly fingerboard incorporated in it, which adds the bigger sizes of edges plus two good jugs on the top of the wings. But as the sides of the power box are made of 18 millimeters plywood, you can easily rearrange the positions of the elements and also replace some of them when necessary, even with other fingerboards that you have. And you can do that with the use of regular wood screws or make new holes in the front panel for the specific bolt location of your existing fingerboard. We have added two additional spare T-nuts for this reason. Both left and right sides of the power box are textured and have good friction for another important exercise, compressions. There are additional T-nuts on them where you can add more holds and invent your own exercises. The edges of the box that you could catch by hand are nicely rounded and can be held for assistance in some of the exercises. On the bottom board we have T-nuts for attaching of symmetric pinches for hanging. We have pinches with various level of difficulty so that you can start at a point where you feel comfortable and progress from then on. Our next feature is one of the best offered by the power box. A pulley system for assistance in smooth transition between the difficulty levels of the exercises. The pulley system is used for decreasing of the weight of your body by adding various amounts of weight that pull downwards and at the same time lifting your body up. And all this is done with precisely measurable and tracked steps, determined by the amount of weight that you add. It consists of two pulleys and an additional metal arm, which shifts the vertical movement of the weight, aside and out of the power box, which reduces significantly the risk for injury. Next comes another popular training tool, the hanging balls. You can do numerous exercises on them. The balls that are currently supplied in the set are 12 centimeters in diameter, and we're working on enlarging of the range of sizes. They can be mounted on the pull-up bar with ropes, or to the bottom of the power box with the use of ring bolts. And our balls are multifunctional as well. 
they can be directly bolted to the bottom of the power box and be used in other exercises. And finally, as the power box has numerous T-nuts on its panels, you can rearrange and create your own set of exercises with the existing holds. Or you can screw or bolt other holds that you have and use them for your training. And when you're done, as the power box is in fact a big and spacious box, you can store its elements and all your climbing equipment inside it until the next time you need them. And the last great feature that we have for you today is that the board can be easily relocated in case you want to. You can place the anchor rods on more than one location, which will stay there and you just mount the board on them and screw the nuts and it's ready for use. Yes, now you're ready for all those rocks and indoor gyms out there. Thank you for watching. For more information about technical specification, pricing and shipping options, please check the training section on our website. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook, as there will be new useful extensions and additions to the PowerBox soon.